All right, got the frog tied on here. Walk the frog. Walk the frog. There we go, guys. It's a tiger trout, no way. Oh, there we go. Yep. Ooh, that was sick. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see, we are ready for an adventure. Uh, I'm gonna be headed up north. I'm gonna try going for some pike. And since I bring up pike, I'm sure you guys know which lake I'm going to. Uh, it's gonna be Lake Mary. Yeah, guys, it's gonna be quite the adventure. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'll be meeting up with my grandpa. We're gonna fish probably this evening uh, and maybe even tomorrow morning. So um, I think the pike are gonna be up shallow right now. I'm gonna fish that weedy kind of structure. I got like a plethora of baits just waiting. So, so hopefully we can get munched, guys. I'm pretty excited. We're gonna hop in the truck here. We're gonna head up the hill and hopefully catch some fish. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to get out of this heat. It is hot down here right now and it's supposed to be pretty nice up there. Low of 42 and a high of 69, cloudy and no wind. So knock on wood, hope it's a beautiful time and I hope we can get some fish. But guys, let's hop into the truck and let's get going. I am so pumped for this trip. All right, guys, we just made it to the lake. Look how beautiful this is. Gosh, this looks awesome. We're gonna get the boat set up real quick and we're gonna get right on the water and fish with the little bit of hours that we have left and see if we can catch any fish. Tomorrow morning is the real day that we'll be out here fishing and I'm pretty much gonna spend all day out here. Uh, but you know, I got here, it's like three o'clock, so I thought might as well drop in and just see if we can uh, get any luck. But guys, this looks absolutely stellar. Man, oh man, dude, I am hype. I am hyped to fish this right now. I haven't pike fished in a long, like actually probably about a year, maybe two years. I haven't pike fished, so so I think we're gonna have a ton of luck today, guys. I'm gonna stop talking now, guys, and we're gonna get this boat ready because I want to get on the water and it just uh, it just looks so prime right now. It just looks looks so perfect. Looks perfect. We're gonna get on the water. <laughs> tied on here we're zooming i know it's probably a little windy for you guys some really nasty stuff up here in here that i want to get this frog into real nasty stuff walk the frog walk the frog There we go, guys. Oh, yes. There we go. Oh, he's a baby. There there we go, guys. That was dope. There we go. Frogging. Oh, he's a little guy. Yeah, that was sick. Come here, baby. That was awesome. That was pretty epic. There we go, guys. First one of the trip. Thanks, buddy. Woohoohoo! Yeah, baby. That was sick. That was sick. First cast with a frog. Oh, he hammered that. Oh, that was beautiful. That was just a little guy too. Oh, he hit that so awesome though. Yes, got one. Heck yeah, man. I knew that stuff looked good up here. I hope you could see that blow up on the GoPro. Oh, he nailed that. Oh, that was awesome. My heart's going. That caught me completely off guard. Oh, dude, bike fishing so exciting. Oh, oh, I just got hit by another one right there. Oh guys, it's a top water bite. It is a top water bite, but they're hitting it all out, way out here. They're not hitting it up shallow at all. It will be a frog bite, guys. All right, everybody, Grandpa's back. Hey, we're gonna try some mouse tails. They're mice tails today. Yeah. Never fished with a mice tail, but we're gonna try one today. Supposedly they work really good. Yep. So we're at Mary for a little bit today, and then tomorrow morning he'll be with us as well. And we'll be out here fishing and Hopefully we can catch some fish. Try huh? some fly fishing tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I think early in the morning it'll be kind of calm too. Yep. So we'll do some fly fishing. Cool. Sweet. Let's, Let's get, get busy. Yeah, I'm ready to fish. All right. All right, guys, this is the bait of choice right here. I put on a steel eater because I broke off on that one, which was dumb. I left my steel eaters in the truck. I was just trying to run with it and I lost that frog. So none of that, none of leaving more frogs in fish's mouths. We got the little rat, little mouse. I think, it, I want to say it's live 
target or lunker hunt? If you know, leave it down in the comments. Oh, I just got blown up on. Oh, and he missed it, Grandpa. He hit it. He hit it, huh? He hit it. It's exciting. You never know when they're going to blow up on it. Top water like this. Ugh. Oh. Got him. Yep. Oh, he's a good one. There he goes, Grandpa. What do you got? A nice pike. Woo, that's a good one. God, he choked it too. Teamwork, teamwork. Good job, Grandpa. There we go, guys. That's a good one. Little fatty. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. You coop. There he goes. Ate the mouse. Oh. Yep. Little guy. Well, maybe not. He might be decent. Oh, he got off. Oh, did he? Yeah, he got off. He got in those, those weeds right there and pulled me off. It's all right, barbless hooks. A hole in his belly, he doesn't want to float. Well, there's not much water in there. I think it's just the action of it. Oh, you know what it is? It probably is. It's probably the steel eater weighing it down, you know? Oh, there we go. God, they always hit it when I'm not looking. The little guy. Oh, he got off. We gonna slam today, Grandpa? Well, we'll see. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get in some trout. We'll see what happens. Some days the fish bite, some days they don't. Put some more fish in this boat. What I like to hear right there. Let's go. Welcome back to day two, guys. Grandpa's here with us today, and we are at the beautiful Lake Ashurst right now. I'm gonna try and catch some rainbows. Things we're gonna go for, do some fly fishing this morning. Grandpa's not here for too long, so we're gonna see how many trout we can catch within that time. About two hours of fishing, we'll see what we can do. A guy said he caught one already, so we're gonna test our luck and see if we can catch one first cast like he did. But we're gonna break out the fly rods. We're marking fish. Uh, they're not there anymore, but we were marking fish down there. Um, closer to the bottom so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I got a cone head semi seal nymph uh, I'm gonna throw that and I'm just gonna strip it slow on the bottom let it sink real low down there and I think uh, I think that'll produce get a line out there right now and see if we can catch any fish ready grandpa ready let's go for it let's do it let's kill it Good job, Grandpa. All right, here we go. Three fish? Three fish. And he is smoking me right now. <laughs> I am, I haven't caught a single thing. I've been getting bites, but I just haven't caught a single thing. Oh well, we're gonna catch one. We will catch one. All right, guys. Good old Asher's Lake reveals itself again. It was supposed to be max seven mile an hour winds today, and we just hit it probably like 25 mile an hour winds, and it's raining. So you see a storm over there, storm over there. AC weatherman for you. Look at that. Oh, gale force winds, light rain. They're still, they're still jumping in this weather. With even like the waves and everything, they are still breaking the surface. I get my 
photography love from. Grandpa literally stopped on the side of the road to take a picture of that small little lake over there in the middle of the rainstorm. Go Grandpa. And then take it off. Grandpa's okay. got to go work, yep. so. On to the All next right. lake, and then maybe next weekend. Next we weekend go. again, we'll do some more. We'll maybe go catch some bass somewhere at the yep. Kaibab or somewhere. We'll change it up a little bit, go somewhere new. Mary's a little windy right now, so we're going to probably go to a new lake. Grandpa's got to go work. Another adventure waits some other day. Next weekend. Next weekend. Yeah. Okay. So, all right, bye, Grandpa. Okay, bye. Thanks for taking me out. Thank you. Okay. I'm happy you caught some fish. Yep. Got three? Got three. Three good fish, Three good-sized trout. Yeah. All right. All right, Grandpa. Well, I'll see you. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just got through Strawberry. We're heading into Pine right now. Uh, we took the 87 down from Flag around Mormon Lake, and uh, now we're headed to a really cool lake. Um, it's probably one of my favorite lakes around in the Payson area. Uh, I know as soon as I get it on the water, you guys will know exactly where I'm at. I'll be going for bass, uh, largemouth and smallmouth, and then maybe some tiger trout too, if the tiger trout are in there right now. I'm pretty excited. This weather, as you guys seen, is absolutely perfect uh, for the type of fishing that I'm gonna be doing. I was there two years ago and I was seeing some really good largemouth cruising around in there, and I caught a lot of little small, uh, little smallmouth. So I'm hoping this year that they're a little bigger uh, and that those largemouth are still cruising around in there. I'm here a little earlier this year, so I think I'm gonna be here during their spawn um, and not so late. Last year I was in there in July and uh, it looked like they just got out of their spawn out of their spawn over there. So I've been driving for probably about two hours now um, and I'm hoping I get there with some light left and get a, get a line in the water. It's such a beautiful drive coming down the 87 like that. I mean, it's just breathtaking. Look at this. Look where I'm at right now. Isn't this beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. So if you guys ever get the chance, definitely take that road from Payson up to Flag on the 87 or vice versa. I don't think you guys would regret doing that. It's a beautiful drive. You guys probably already know what lake I'm going to. There's not too many around that area, so it's kind of a surprise. So <laughs> I'm excited to get over there, guys. I haven't been there in a while, but we'll just keep moseying down the road here and see where it brings us. All right, guys, we made it to Willow Springs Lake. That is the lake of choice today. And guys, it is freaking beautiful. Look at this lake. My gosh. It is beautiful. The water clarity is like at least 10 feet, uh, maybe even more. What are we marking right now? Seven foot. I can see the bottom just with my bare eyes without even pulleys. This is beautiful. There's fish jumping all over the place. So basically what I got rigged here um, on my spinning setup, I have a fluke uh, tied up. Um, and then on my other setup, which is going to be a flipping stick, uh, I actually have a jerk bait tied on. So definitely not a lure you would throw on a flipping stick. Uh, but I really didn't intend on this being a little smallmouth mission, and here we are. So, <laughs> got to make do and uh, throw in a jerk bait on a flipping stick. And I got a swim bait on my swim bait rod there, I might throw around if the bite is good. But for now, I'll just stick to that, some of that finesse stuff. I don't think the fish get very big in here. <sighs> Guys, I'm stoked. This is cool. This is a cool little adventure. It's nice and overcast. It is beautiful today, guys. So, I guess I'll get you guys on the chesty and we'll uh, get this part of the adventure going. <sighs> All right, guys, here we go. Just a little strike king. I thought it would be nice and flashy for the pike. Maybe a smallmouth would like it. I don't know. Weird throwing a jerk bait on a flipping stick. I'll tell you that much. That is a weird feeling. One with the gold because I was thinking maybe they'll think it's like a little baby tiger chat or something. Ooh. Oh, there we go, guys. There we go. Yes, their first fish. It's a tiger trout. No way. Guys, it's a tiger trout. Guys, it's a tiger. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> guys, that was epic. Guys, it's a tiger trout. Let's get him in. Oh, guys, that was sick. Guys, look at that tiger trout. That was dope. That was sick. Oh, my goodness. I did not think I was going to be fishing for tiger trout today. Oh, all right. Well, he kind of flopped around, so I'm going to let him out. I try to handle these fish with care, especially with how cool they are. My goodness. Let's get a little release on him, huh? That was awesome. Oh, there he goes. Yep. <laughs> that was sick. On a jerk bait. The jerk bait was as big as him. Oh, that was dope. Oh, there we go. We got another one, guys. Look at that, guys. <laughs> he was following it. Oh, he followed it right up the boat. I just pulled it from his mouth. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Followed it up again. Oh, my God. This is driving me nuts. Oh, there's another one. It's got to be color, man. Oh, we just hit it. Yep. Oh, we just hit it again. Got him. That was dope. Is it crappie? It's a little crappie. That's awesome, guys. Oh, we smoked it. Look at this crappie, guys. What in the world is going on today? 
is a species challenge. That's sick. And disappear. There we go, guys. Got him. Tiny little small mouth. There we go, guys. Oh, a little smally. Yep, little baby smally. Little baby. There we go. Oh, you kind of missed it there, big guy. Got right in the back of the head. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys, it is the following morning. Uh, I got home at like 10 o'clock last night, so I didn't really feel like filming an outro. Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching today's video. It was crazy how many species we caught. I mean, we, I think we caught northerns, we got rainbows, tiger trout, uh, smallmouth, and a crappie. That's a ridiculous amount of species within just two days. Again, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm happy uh, I was able to get my grandpa on some fish. I know he had a good time. Uh, guys, if you want to see more northern arizona videos like that please let me know down below i love fishing at those lakes they're super cool and i think uh i think it doesn't get recognized enough uh so if you guys want to see more of that please let me know down below but before i sign off i just want to leave you guys with a very simple message for those of you that have been following my brother via instagram family friend or just know him uh, you guys know that he's been battling a very rare bone cancer since march of last year and through that whole situation you know i've learned a multitude of things but really i think the one lesson that has resonated with me the most is just don't take things for granted guys i feel like it's i feel like it happens way too often uh just really appreciate who you are who you're with your family your loved ones your siblings uh be blessed that you are where you are and just you know be thankful for life honestly guys i just think it gets overlooked way too often and i think if you're just thankful for your surroundings and you're with and all that you'll just wake up as a better person in the morning you'll be way happier and you'll be much happier with yourself so just something small like that to think about guys i mean if you're already doing that great kudos on you if you're not just take a step back a little bit think about it think about all the things you have to be thankful of think about the people around you and just soak it in guys but on a more positive note guys i really appreciate you watching today uh like i said if you guys want to see more of those northern arizona videos please just let me know down below if you guys aren't subscribed remember hit that subscribe button as well as that bell icon guys leave a like as well don't be afraid to do that but again guys thank you thank you so much for watching today as always i'll see you in the next video